coming up now on I Want to Look Like a High School Cheerleader Again. As the cheerleaders face their toughest challenge. Are you kidding me? Holy f This is ludicrous. A rivalry erupts. The whole thing was I wanted to beat Holly. And later. No way. Will the girls survive a thunderous workout? And then, who will be sent packing? I just kept thinking maybe the scale didn't stop at the right place. Don't miss the most shocking weigh-in yet. I'm gonna miss her a lot. I, I really feel like we just had a chance to bond. Seeing Randy be eliminated, it was really hard. I did not want to see her go. I felt like she's my little sister. I just look out for I lost one pound in two weeks how is that possible Holly likes to come into conversations and turn everything toward herself maybe, maybe you didn't do as much this week did you do as many intervals this week as you did I did, in, I did intervals with Cammy. I love intervals they feel I, so good I like it just that. feels good to be able to sprint and then stop and then sprint and then stop I love that feeling <laughs> it's really getting annoying can I tell you I'm so daunted by the next few weeks because like running this hard all the time. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. Stay right there. Out here, out here we sweat. Uh, I hate to watch her head confess right in front of me. I might as well run the marathon this year. I could do Boston. I've never been to Boston. After here, I'm going to be drained for it. <laughs> Today's workout is the partner resistant workout. The world would make you believe you need the tummy blaster to get in shape. Your body doesn't know if you're using towels or you're in the gym. Resistance is resistance. Come on! Push through it! Push through it! Down! Deeper! Don't let go of the towel! Keep it going! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? okay? At a personal level with Hallie and myself, we're not compatible friends, but on the fitness side... Yeah, there you go. Come on, let's go. We're in the same level. Come on, 20 seconds. Oh, I can't get up. I won't tolerate any weakness from these girls. Up. Come on, Gigi. Remind me of my grandma. If I sense even a little bit, it makes me go crazy. The name of the game is you don't have to like it, but you have to do it. Randy did not like the run, did she? No. She didn't have to run out of here. She walked. You have gained two pounds. So it's not about what you like. Do what I tell you. Down. He's absolutely right. Up. You either achieve here. Wasting my time. That's your belly fat. It ain't mine. Down. Or you don't. Yes. Do it. Or go home. Come on. Come on. 18, 19, come on, come on, and time. Welcome to Pom Pom Mountain. For many of you, the struggle to maintain your diet and get back into high school cheerleading shape has been a real uphill battle. Well, today, it will involve a little downhill as well. Oh no. <laughs> Down the hill in front of you are three sets of pom-poms that are set at three different distances. Now, each pom-pom is attached to an eight-pound medicine ball. Now, your challenge is to grab each set of pom-poms and bring them back to the starting line here at the top of the hill. Are you kidding me? Holy This is ludicrous. The cheerleader who collects all their pom-poms in the fastest time wins. Now, the winner of today's challenge will be very well rewarded with a beauty makeover courtesy of Rusk. <laughs> Now we're gonna run this in two heats. 
The first heat is Lisa, Brittany, Stephanie, and Glenetta. The second heat is Holly, Jamie, and Cammie. All right, the first heat, please get on your marks. When I saw Pom Pom Mountain, I just saw the hill, I saw how steep it was, and I just thought, where's a white flag? Because I give up before I even start. I don't care how steep that mountain is. I've been on this dirty ranch for four weeks, and I wouldn't win that makeover. On your mark, get set. I was neck and neck with Stephanie when we were running down the hill. <laughs> After we got to the bottom of the hill, game over. She's just so strong. Going up that hill, carrying two eight-pound balls with pom-poms on them, it was, it was torture. I'm just thinking to myself, stay strong, keep the steady pace, just keep going. And I did. When I finished, I was like, thank God that's over. <laughs> I'm feeling really proud about what I did. I don't think I could have pushed any harder. Congratulations, Stephanie. You are the time to beat, so let's see if that time holds up. Ladies, are you ready? Ready. Forget Bye. about the makeover, forget about my hair. The whole thing was I wanted to beat Holly. On your mark, get set. When that horn went off, Jamie just shot out of there, and I mean, I could see smoke. Coming up, a victor is crowned. And the winner of the beauty makeover is... And later, when the clouds bring the rain, Jay brings the pain. Step up or step out. For our challenge, we are divided into two heats and we have to climb down to the bottom of the mountain, pick up two eight pound medicine balls at three different intervals and carry them to the top of the hill. And whoever has the best overall time wins a makeover. We've been living on a dirty ranch for four weeks. Who couldn't use a makeover? Forget about the makeover, forget about my hair. The whole thing was I wanted to beat Holly. Go! Go! When I saw Jamie tear down the hill, I knew that I couldn't slack coming uphill because I knew she was gonna pick it back up. I was willing to do anything to beat Holly. Even though I have one leg, if it sent me home because of an injury, I, I was more than willing to do it. I mean, there's no way that I was gonna back down. There's no way I was going to give it half effort. One more, one more. Good job. Completing the challenge was a little bittersweet for me. I was kind of bummed because I didn't beat Holly, but regardless, I know that I, I tried my hardest and that, that's all I can ask for. So ladies, the two fastest times were between Stephanie and Holly. And the winner of the beauty makeover is... Holly. kind of shocked when Jen called my name and then I immediately felt really bad because I thought like well all the girls deserve this. <laughs> I immediately felt guilty for winning. Well, we're gonna start with your hair. What are concerns of yours with your hair that you have? Let's start with the color first. I'm totally open-minded to anything. I tend to lean towards blonde because you get a lot of attention as blonde. I like attention. Holly winning the competition today was a blessing in disguise because we all got to air out, you know, how we were feeling without being interrupted by her. 
when she comes into a lot of the situations, she tries to dominate it, and it's very yeah. uncomfortable. In a group, she wants to be yeah. the middle. Sometimes the way it comes off on people, it's people get a fit. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's overbearing sometimes. If she asked me, I would probably tell her. You gotta learn that you're not always correct. You don't always know the answer. It is or I because did something better yeah. than what you yeah, did, and, and like top this, everything. Be than what you did. So tell me about your roommates. Have you made some good friends? They're really wonderful. Lisa's 43, but she looks like she's 20. She's also like the nicest person in the world. And Jamie's the one I was telling you, we call Mighty Jamie, the one who has two braces on her legs and almost beat me up the hill. And Jamie's great. She's just real cheerful and just hilarious to be around. She's just one of those people you're like, are you sure you really know how to do everything? You have to want up everything I do, you know? And it's like, you know, it's just aggravating. I'm really excited to go share the girls with you. Like, I would say at this point, these girls are some of my closest friends, definitely in this environment. I mean, they're all I have. They're my family. Coming up, can the cheerleaders weather the storm? Come on, who's going home? Ah! And later, the most shocking weigh-in yet. I just kept thinking maybe the scale didn't stop at the right place. I just didn't believe that it was true. Look! <gasps> Nails! And it's mommy! Ooh! We walked into our bunk and it was like a slumber party. There were pillows on the floor. We had manicure and pedicure stuff. It was a very nice, refreshing treat for us. We were sitting around talking and having some quality girl time. And then we just decided that it was the perfect time to bring up some of the issues with Holly that we were having with her. Sometimes, like, when, when you say things, you don't realize that you say something. Like, people don't realize that, like, when you make jokes about some small things, it affects other people. You can't just say what you feel like saying, this isn't New York, you know? Like, we all have to realize that we're not at home, we're not, this isn't our family, you know? I feel like the competition has started and I haven't even heard the gun go off because I felt like you were, like, in personal competition with me. Like, what'd you eat? How many calories did you have? What meal are you on? You know, and I was like, oh my gosh, easy killer. Everything's not a competition. What you do is the best that you can do. Like, I know that if I leave here, I did the best that I could have done. A lot of that is, you know, hard, hard information to take in a way. I didn't know that people were going to feel that way about me or, you know, feel that way about me for this long without saying anything about it or talking about it. Yeah, it's kind of hurtful. It was kind of a weird situation to be in with everybody kind of like talking about you, at you. It's always going to be a tense relationship. And tonight was hard for me. But at the end of the day, this is a competition, and they are going to hate me if I do well, no matter how hard I try to not be competitive. I'm going to read as competitive. Understand, you guys, right now, it's step up or step out. Once the rain started falling, my best bet was the girls were going to start falling too. But hey, they accepted their fate. The option was either to go with it or spend the next hour and a half dying. This is your last workout. For somebody, this is the farewell. I want to be here more than anything else, more than anybody else, more than anything. I want it in the rain, I want it in the heat, I want it in the dust, I want to stay here. One, two, three, six! I'm not worried about the rain. The rain can't even hold me back at this point. I'm going to make it all the way to the top because I didn't come here to quit. I came here to take it all the way and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going home empty handed. Come on, you got to love it! No pain! No pain! No pain! A little rain! Come on, it's rain and joy! Right, come on, come on! You don't want to go home yet! No! No, you've been here too long! Five! Five! Fourteen! Come on, Lisa! Nineteen! Come on, who's going home? You have to 
give 110%. I mean, it's your last shot. I was gonna finish this workout if I drowned. Ladies, welcome back. It is now your fourth weigh-in. Three girls are gone, and today we find out who will be joining them. As always, you're going to be evaluated on the percentage of body weight loss since your last weigh-in. The cheerleader who posts the lowest percentage of weight loss will be in the hot spot until someone else posts a lower percentage. Cammie, you are up first. Your previous weight was 141 pounds. 139 pounds. <laughs> Congratulations, you lost two pounds. I'm just happy to be in the 130s. I was crossing my fingers for that this week. Cammie, your percentage of total weight loss is 1.42%. Now you do have to be in the hot spot until someone else posts a lower percentage because you went first. All right, Lisa. You must lose at least two pounds in order to be safe. 129. <laughs> Brittany, you need to have lost at least three pounds in order to be safe. 153. <laughs> Next up is Stephanie. I feel like I've put in all the effort this week. I know I've done my best, but... Every month, I gain five pounds, and then it goes away two days later. And today's the day. You need to have lost at least three pounds in order to be safe. There's nothing I can do about it. There's no control I have. I'm just intensely worried. You need to have lost at least three pounds in order to be safe. Even with all the hard work I put in, I'm just intensely worried. 167. I'm sorry, but you lost no weight. I just kept thinking maybe the scale didn't stop at the right place. I just didn't believe that it was true. What do you think about that? Worked as hard as I possibly could. I watched my diet as much as I could. I got my period. I ran my butt off this week. My stomach sunk because she worked so hard. Cami, congratulations. You are safe, so you can go back to the squad. Stephanie, you have a zero percentage of weight loss. Please cross to the hot spot. All right, next up is Glenetta. Glenetta, your previous weight was 145 pounds. You need to have lost at least one pound in order to be safe. 144. <laughs> Congratulations. Great job. You lost one pound. Better than nothing, so I'll take it. All right, next up is Jamie. Your previous weight was 147 pounds. You too need to have lost at least one pound in order to be safe. 146. You lost one pound. I would have lost more. <laughs> you may join your squad. All right, Holly, last up. I actually feel like I could go home today. You know, with all the running that I'm doing, I'm wondering if at a certain point it's just more running and it doesn't make a difference anymore. All right, Holly, it all comes down to you. You need to have lost at least one pound in order to be safe. One thirty-eight. Stephanie, I'm sorry, but you are off the squad. You did a great job, though, while you were here. You lost a total of eight pounds. That's something to be proud of. And I hope you continue your hard work at home. Thanks, I plan to. I'm more than a bird, I'm more than a plane, I'm more than some pretty face beside a train. I'm not the same person I was four weeks ago. I want these new habits to stick. 
and I'm the one in charge, and I'm the one who's going to make it happen. It's not easy to be me. On the next episode, the girls gear up for the gridiron. With a cowboy throwing the touchdown. An injury threatens Jamie's chances. Jamie. Come on, let's go. Come on, this. And Glenetta hits bottom. How are you feeling, Jeej? I'm still hurting. I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs>